Figma might as well call themselves the business killer because they just killed another business. If you haven't heard about this, Miro just came out with a whiteboard solution or basically like a really big whiteboard for people to collaborate on and work together on projects. And one of the really cool things about this is that you can now collaborate with other users or other people that are working on the same project with you while still being on the Figma platform. So you can all work kind of on the same accounts, same workspaces, same kind of platform and software, but it's just another type of Figma. So you still have that same kind of functionality that you're used to, but it's just a completely different thing now. This wasn't a huge launch for any matter. They didn't really announce it anywhere. It's just a really kind of niche product that they just came out with. And to access it, you have to go to your front page or like the front desk or whatever, click on new, and then you'll see that there's a new type of file that you can access. So now you can access a FigGem file. So the first thing you see when you get on FigGem or one of the new FigGem files is this kind of endless sort of whiteboard that you have here. And you can just zoom in by scrolling on the mouse wheel or also doing command plus and minus on Mac or PC. And one of the really cool things about this is that you have all these different solutions to kind of brainstorm and collaborate with all these people. And one of the first things that you see here is this, this marker or this pen. And it allows you to kind of free form and do all these different shapes and styles. And I must say it does work a lot better on the actual PC or the, the desktop app rather than online. Just, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but it does work a lot faster and a lot smoother. You can then change all these colors, have it in red, and you can also have it in two different thicknesses. So maybe you wanna highlight something or you want to kind of draw little faces here and there. You can totally do that on FigGem. They can also do all of your circles and shapes and you can access it by holding O or yeah, just O on the keyboard. And you have all these different options in the in the software. And this essentially allows you to do different shapes and kind of connect in different ways to other users. So with this, you can kind of do different workflows and you can have sort of different sections of the of the brainstorming and the workflow and you can have all these things. And in this in these circles or in these shapes, you can also write in them. So you can say like user one, then it goes on to do thing one, right? Whatever whatever it is that you guys are gonna use this for. But this is just kind of an example. You also have these sticky notes, which you can access by clicking on S. So you click S, oh, you click S, and you have now a sticky note. And it's pretty big, so you just kind of just wanna scroll out a little bit or click Command minus, and you can then lay it on. And a really cool thing about this is that you have this signature. So you can turn that on and off and it kind of shows who's writing the sticky note, right? So if you're giving some feedback to someone, you can kind of show that this is me explaining it or me talking about it or whatever. And once you're done writing that to not kind of get off of it and then click sticky note again, if you're on this, you can just do command enter and it'll automatically give you more sticky notes. So that's a really cool trick to know. You can also change all the colors on this, maybe branding has to be on point for a client meeting or a workflow or whatever it is and you need to get those kind of color rights then then go and do that you can also bold it and have all these different formatting options you have headings subheadings titles all that blah 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 now those are the main components of the fig jam sort of workflow you can have all the different shapes the stickies the pen and you can also move around by holding spacebar so you can kind of pan around the workspace or the the artboard but then you also have these different elements and there's a lot more to get into. So guys, keep watching to the end because there's so much more to do and it's a lot more fun than just these three things. So the first thing that's really cool about this is the connector. So you can kind of do all these different custom connections between circles, stickies, pieces of drawings or whatever. So if I kind of group this, I'll show you guys what I mean. If I have this face here that I did and I can kind of scale that down a little bit, I can then do click on this connector or do shift C if I'm on a Mac. And then I can then connect these to the sticky notes and do that again, kind of click that and kind of connect it to anywhere on these shapes, any of these four points. Now this is extremely useful if you haven't kind of used any of these softwares before because you have all this freedom that you would do with a normal whiteboard. So you, if you just have a pen and you're writing and you're doing all these arrows or whatever, this is essentially the same thing, but on a kind of an electronic version. And then another really cool thing about this is if you double tap on the actual line itself, you can then change the text to anything you want. And then you can also change the color of the arrows and also obviously the color of the text. Within that, we can also just do regular text boxes. So we can kind of drag and we can place the text box anywhere. So we can kind of do all of that. That's pretty normal with Figma and pretty standard anywhere else. But then we get this library of, of sort of stickers and sticker packs that you can kind of use collaboratively with your team. 
So if you're working on a UI page with a few other people, you can kind of say like, hey, watch out with this, it looks horrible, right? Or <laughs> whatever it is, right? You kind of you can kind of warn them about what, what you're doing or basically have kind of the freedom to do whatever you want with all these stickers. And that's something really cool because you have kind of all this expression that you didn't really have before and you can kind of be a lot more human when you're interacting with your coworkers instead of just writing emails like, hey, watch out with this, right? This is, it's a lot more fun and a lot less kind of a lot less confronting in a way. The next thing is this stamp, so you can get to it by pressing E and I'll just click here. And you kind of get all, you get two different types of stamps. One is these just the regular stickies where you can get like a thumbs up, a heart, a question, plus one, whatever. And you can kind of put your stamp down there. And I'll get another one just so you guys can see. I kind of, I wanna thumbs this up, right? Or thumbs down. And a quick secret about this is if you hold it down, it'll kind of increase in size. And maybe you wanna say a really good thumbs up or really bad th thumbs down. And that's just the way to do that. But then you have the other side, which is something really fun, which is all of these kind of emojis and emotes that you can use in real time with your colleagues. So if someone else is on this, you can just imagine that they're designing something and you're in a call with them or whatever. You can kind of just spam them with, with all these heart emojis or, or whatever if they did a really good job or just horrible, right? They did a really bad job, so let's just spam them with those. Next, we also have the images. So that's pretty self-explanatory. You can just drop any image you want into the, into the file itself. Another really cool thing about this is that if you go into the top right hand corner here, you have kind of a different way to get to the emotes and the stamps, but you also have this really cool new feature that I haven't seen anywhere else, which is the cursor chat. And the shortcut for that is the front slash. And the really cool thing about this is that if you're obviously on a call with someone or working with someone and you wanna point something out to them, you can then just type something out or you can say like, work on this instead, right? And then you're pointing to something and it kind of tells them that they should be doing this instead of that or just a way to communicate with people if you're not kind of, if you're not really there in person with them. Now, as this is a Figma software or, sig or part of the Figma program, the really cool thing about this is that you can kind of copy and paste your Figma designs onto this FigJam board and kind of collaborate with creators in that way. So if I go over here to my Tailwind UI component thing, and I just do Command C for a copy, and I went over the Tailwind UI component system on another one of my videos, so make sure you guys go check that out. And really quickly guys, if you guys are enjoying this video, or you're finding any value from this, make sure that you subscribe and like the video to support my channel. So once we've done the Command C or the copy or whatever, you can just do Command V and you kind of paste the the frame that you were working on by yourself, well now it's in a fig jam with someone else if you don't wanna kind of share the entire thing, right? And now this is really cool because you have all these elements from fig jam like emotes and, and stickers or whatever, and you kind of get to communicate with all these people in just such a cool and and in, in such a new way. Now, FigJam is really important and it's really cool because they basically created a Miro solution or a, a kind of Miro substitute, but within Figma. So people don't have to leave Figma and kind of do brainstorming with clients or whatever in Miro and then come back to Figma and do it all themselves. They can kind of do all that in one ecosystem and that's really, really valuable. If you guys wanna learn Figma in 10 minutes, then make sure that you watch this video right here because I do a tutorial on that and I go over it super, super quickly. If you guys enjoy this video, then make sure that you subscribe and leave a like down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.